Hi friends, Jay Sennett here. Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jay. Back here in my Jazzy Jay kitchen. Hope you all are doing well and thanks as always for watching. And I would also like to thank Feast Virginia as always for the underwriting support. Greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. On this edition of Cooking with Jay, I'm going to make a meatloaf, but it's certainly far from the traditional meatloaf. <laughs> when I share these ingredients, you're probably going to say to yourself, hmm, I don't know about this one. It's, it's, it's a strange combination of things. And I got this idea, I was watching Julia Child years ago. She made this chicken, this meatloaf with ground chicken, and she used apples and applesauce and uh, onions and mustard and all kind of stuff was thrown into this, this meatloaf. So I thought about that and I watched that program over and over a few times and I came up with my own version of meatloaf, but I'm going to use ground turkey meat, okay? Now this recipe, it's in my Jazzy J Cooking Freestyle with Jazzy J or J Senate Cooking Freestyle with J Senate and you can get a copy of this magazine um, with a membership to WHRO and WHRV, okay? The recipe is in here. Um, it's, where is it, where is it? It is right here. It's my Jazzy J Pear Chili Turkey Meatloaf with Pomegranate Pepper Glaze, right? See that right there? Yes. And some of my, my personal favorite recipes in this magazine. So I'm, I'm going to make one of these for this edition of Cooking with Jay. So, you ready to see how I make this turkey meatloaf? <laughs> All right, let's get cooking. All right, here we go. Okay, it's about a pound of ground turkey in here. Now, I have about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard I'm going to add in here, okay? About a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Um, I'm going to add one egg. Okay. I'm going to add about a half a cup of breadcrumbs. All right. Going to add about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to add some salt. All right, and some freshly ground black pepper. Be adding some more of this here in a minute. Yeah. Okay, now that's what's in here. The ground turkey, the breadcrumbs, the Dijon mustard, the Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper, and the one egg. Now we're going to go over here to the stove, right? Because I have to cook some things on the stove and I'll show you the ingredients over here. Okay, while that's over there, we're going to get back to that, uh, that bowl there in, the mo in a moment. But first, what I want to do is um, I diced up a small yellow onion in this saucepan here. There's just some butter, okay? A couple of tablespoons of butter, all right? And add some yellow onion, diced up yellow onion, a very small one. Now, you heard me mention the uh, pear chili turkey meatloaf, right? You can use a poblamo pepper, or in this case, I'm using a diced up banana pepper without the seeds. I take the seeds out only because I couldn't find a poblamo pepper, okay? That, and I have, now this is the interesting part. I'm using pear instead of apple, okay? This is a Bosque pear, and it's not a whole one. I just sliced, sliced it in half and sliced it up and diced it real, you know, like that. Just minced it up a little bit, all right? maybe a quarter cup of the uh, Bosque pear in here, okay? And this is cooking in this butter. And you want to preheat your oven as well to 350, okay? So preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Forgot to mention that at the beginning. And this is already smelling pretty good. And what I have here, I have about um, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of, of cumin, okay? 
I have a couple of cloves of finely minced up garlic in here and I have about a tablespoon of some fresh minced up tarragon. Okay, now you can also use dried tarragon if you can't find the fresh tarragon. For some reason it's kind of tricky to find fresh tarragon um, in the stores and I find mine at Fresh Market uh, if you're looking for fresh tarragon. But dried tarragon will also work in this dish. And I want to cook the peppers, the onions, and the pear for just a couple of minutes, right? Just a couple of minutes. Um, can add this garlic in here. Give us. Okay, a couple of cloves, some finely minced up garlic in there. And it already smells delicious, yummy. You have this butter, and you have the diced up banana pepper. Again, I took out the seeds. Small yellow onion, diced up. Okay. And then we have the pear, the bosque pear. I use a bosque pear because um, texturally, I just, I just like that pear better for this dish. It seems to work better. And it adds that, that unique sweetness. And there's just a bit of texture that it adds to the meatloaf as well. Alright. And that really smells good. It smells good. Now I want to add my cumin. Okay, about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. And I want to add the fresh minced up tarragon. Okay? About a tablespoon. Some minced up tarragon. Wow. Tarragon is so fragrant, particularly fresh. Let me get the fresh tarragon. And it just, man, <laughs> that aroma just exploded when I added that tarragon in here. I want to mix it well, get the garlic mixed in. Get everything to where like the onions are translucent, the peppers are translucent, more or less, you know. Just a couple of minutes. I hope you all are doing well out there. And again, thank you for watching Cooking with Jay, which is aired Sunday evenings at 6 on the WHRO Public Media Facebook page. And if you missed episodes, you can go to the WHRO Public Media YouTube channel and type in Cooking with Jay and all kind of episodes will come up. You can see the episodes I did with uh, special guest chef, Chef Robert Patton from the ODU uh, culinary department over there. And all the other shows that, that uh, we put together over the past few months. can't believe I've been doing this show now for uh, several months now. Okay, so now this is important here, because what you want to do, obviously this is very hot, so I'm going to turn, turn the heat off on this, and I'm going to take it off the heat. And you want it to cool just a bit. Okay, now I'm going to set this down. Uh, where can we set this? We'll set this right there in the sink for just for the time being. And <clears throat> in here again, the turkey meat, one egg, about a half a cup of breadcrumbs, about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, I said the egg, breadcrumbs, and salt and pepper in here. Okay. And you want to get yourself a loaf pan, like Sue, like so, and grease it, all right? Grease the loaf pan. Now, I'm going to get my goodies here, this mixture, and add this into the meatloaf. Okay? Like so. And then let's mix this in well with the turkey meat. Let 
remember to try to get it cool. It's not as cool as I would like it, you know. But it's okay. It'll work. And I know I'm going to put some more freshly ground black pepper in here. And a little bit more salt. Just a little bit more. Stop mixing. Get it all mixed in well, okay? Da -da -da -da. And once it's mixed in well, we're going to get our loaf pan. Okay. Now, Get it in the loaf pan, okay? Ooh, like so. Without making a mess. Look, I'm doing there. Came off the edge. All right. Now, once it's in the loaf pan, I'm gonna kind of shape it in the pan, okay? And remember to grease your pan. You can use butter. I, in this case, I use olive oil. Okay, and your oven is preheated to 350. This smells delicious. Smells delicious. It's been a while since I've made this. I forgot about this recipe. And I said, wow, I don't know, I saw something in an email or something. They were talking about loaded meatloaf. And I said, oh, I make a meatloaf. Mine's loaded, but, but in a very, very different way. Jazzy J's meatloaf is very, very different. I just took Julia Child's idea and just ran with it. Ran with it. Now, okay. Now, I want to open this up just to make sure. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you bake it. That's what I thought. I was going to think how long I'd bake this. At 350 for about 40, 45 minutes, okay? There, you can see that in the pan, all right? So, I'm going to go put this in the oven, set the timer. Da -da -da -da. Set the timer for 40 minutes. Okay. My turkey meatloaf is in the oven. Again, this is from my Cooking Freestyle with Jay Sennett <clears throat> Cooking Magazine. It's my Jazzy J Pear Chili Turkey Meatloaf with pomegranate pepper glaze. And when we come back, I'm going to bake it for 40 minutes and through the magic of editing, it will only seem like just a few minutes, I will show you how I make this delicious pomegranate glaze. It has lime juice and honey and red pepper flakes, um, it's, it's, it, and it's, it's an interesting kind of complement to this turkey meatloaf, because there's already a bunch of different things in this meatloaf anyway. All right, so while this is cooking, uh, you'll see me in a few seconds, but actually 40, 45 minutes or so would have gone by, but again, through the magic of editing, you'll see me back here in just a moment. Stay with us. We'll be right back, taking that meatloaf, delicious meatloaf, out of the oven. Hmm? Hi friends, I'm back. I think the meatloaf is just about ready. So let's go take it out of the oven and then I'll show you how I make that pomegranate pepper glaze. All right, let's get to the oven. Wow, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. And it smells delicious, this turkey meatloaf. But before we're going to we're going to dig into this. Let's go back over here to the stove and I want to show you how I make um, this pomegranate glaze. Okay, in this little saucepan here I have about a cup of pomegranate juice, fresh pomegranate juice. I want to add about a tablespoon of lime juice in here. Um, I want to add just a little bit, maybe a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder 
in there. I'm going to add, uh, let's see, probably about a quarter cup of honey. I'm going to get this honey out of here. I didn't put it in a, in a little bowl. But get that in here. So a cup of pomegranate juice. Um, about a quarter cup of this honey. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. All right. And I have a little bit of some freshly ground ginger. Maybe a teaspoon of this freshly ground ginger to go in here. Okay. Stir it around. It's starting to get hot. Now, in here I have some cornstarch. Okay. I'm going to make a slurry, right? Put some pomegranate juice in here, stir it around like so. This cornstarch, <laughs> when you try to, to pour it out of the, of the can, instead of scooping it out, you know, it makes a mess. It really makes a mess. So I'll make that slurry. This is basically for a thickener, okay? All right. So pour a little bit of that in there, and let's see how thick it starts to get. I can need a little bit more. Okay. So again, just cornstarch and pomegranate juice to make the slurry. And um, last but not least, I'm going to add just a little bit of red pepper flakes in here. Okay. A little bit of red pepper flakes. Maybe a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Ba -da -ba -ba. All right. Clean up my mess there. Let's see. This is starting to get thicker now. Just starting to. Stir constantly. And you want to get it to the thickness you're comfortable with, okay? Just a little bit more. Now, again, in here, a cup of pomegranate juice, about a quarter cup of honey, about a teaspoon of freshly grated ginger, a little bit of garlic powder, and some lime juice. Okay, and just a pinch of red pepper flakes in here. Now, I'm going to get the spoon. A lot of times, you know, I determine the thickness, the proper thickness, if it coats the spoon. So this can be a little bit thicker. But I do want to taste the flavor. Okay? Mmm. Mm hmm Flavor's on point, but some minor adjustments. I want to add a little bit more of this honey because you know pomegranate juice is tart. Okay, just a little bit more of that honey. Okay. And just a little bit more of the slurry for the thickener. It can be a little bit thicker for my taste. And I think that will do it. Okay. All right. So let's go back to checking out that meatloaf over here. All right. And I made some mashed potatoes over here earlier. I actually made those mashed potatoes yesterday. I'm going to cut this. Meatloaf slices. Now the trick is, how do you get it out of this pan? You can flip the pan upside down, but I'm going to try to get these slices out of here like this, like so. Don't know if this is going to work. Nope, of course not. Well, let's try it this way. Go under. All 
right. One slice there. And a couple of slices there, right there. Okay. Now, what I want to do is move this out of the way. I'm going to get my plate, my plate over here. Tiny kitchen. Okay. My broccolini I made. Not least, where is my spoon? I can't find it. There it is. Yeah, that's a good one. My pomegranate pepper glaze. You spoon this over the turkey, meatloaf, like so. Mm. And you do some, some art if you like, like so. Voila, there you have my pomegranate turkey meatloaf from my Jazzy J magazine. Wow, my Jazzy J turkey meatloaf from my Cooking Freestyle with Jay Sennett magazine. And again, you can get a copy of one of these. You become a member of WHRV and WHRO during our fundraisers, and you can ask for a copy of Jazzy J's Cooking Freestyle magazine. This is um, my pear chili turkey meatloaf with pomegranate pepper glaze. <laughs> oh, and I'm starving. So you want to do it, I'm going to add some butter on top of my mashed taters right there. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It's my dinner time. So, um... Thank you for watching. Cooking with Jay is, uh, is aired Sunday evenings at 6 on the WHO Public Media Facebook page. And archive programs you can see at the WHO Public Media YouTube channel. You can see archive editions of the show, Cooking with Jay. And um, you can always go back and watch it. It'll be on the page. And you can see how I make it with the ingredients and such like that. Um, because we want you to watch <laughs> the video, right? And you can see how I put this together with the uh, ground turkey meat, um, the egg, the breadcrumbs, the Worcestershire sauce, the mustard, Dijon mustard. Um, then with the uh, Bosque pear, uh, the yellow onion, the tarragon, uh, the garlic, um, salt pepper, of course. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm getting all the ingredients in there, but the pomegranate glaze pomegranate juice, honey, a uh, little bit of lime juice, a little bit of ginger, a um, little bit of garlic powder in there, and some red pepper flakes. And then create a slurry with the cornstarch and pomegranate juice to act as a thickener. And you can thicken it as much as you would like. So, hope you enjoyed this edition of Cooking with Jay. And maybe you'll try this dish. Thank you for watching. Again, thanks to Feast Virginia for your underwriting support. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Thank you all for watching Cooking with Jay, Sunday evenings at 6 at the WHO Public Media Facebook page. Don't forget my Senate in Session Jazz Show. Have to mention that, of course, on WHRVFM. Monday through Thursday nights from 9 until 1, Saturday mornings from 1 until 5, and Sunday afternoons from 1 until 5. And if you like great soul music, I host the R&B Chronicles on Friday nights from 7 until 8. Be safe out there, friends. Until the next edition of Cooking with Jay, we'll see you then. I'm going to go eat my dinner. Peace. Hi, Jay Sennett here. Join me for Cooking with Jay Sunday evenings at 6 on Facebook at WHO Public Media 
with previous shows available on YouTube at WHO Public Media. So let's get cooking. Support for Cooking with Jay provided by Feast Virginia, helping address food insecurity in Hampton Roads. Donate at feastva.org today.